My faith is relentless. Yeah. Come on. If you with me, then pick them up and put them down. Boots to the pavement. Kingdom invasion. Proclaiming his name and reclaiming his people. We are the church. No building, no steeple. Making our Lord popular. Evangelizing the youth and raising up the generation of Joshua to rise up. Wise up and open their eyes up and live unashamed for the Christ living My inside us. relentless. Welcome to Relentless Faith, Relentless Faith, Relentless Faith. Once again, we're here, and it's going to be a blast. <laughs> we're going to have an awesome time tonight in Jesus Christ. Tonight, we have two of my good friends, Jacob Crutchfield and Charlie Van Norden. They're going to be singing a wonderful song about who? Jesus. Of course, that's who we talk about here. The name of this song is All My Hope Is In Jesus. Well, the first attraction to it was <clears throat> starting off probably had to be uh, Crowder because I'm a big Crowder fan, just the soulfulness in his voice, things like that. Um, and then, but when you sit down and you get to the basics of it, the how the old hymnal style and just the piano um, and all my hope is in Jesus. I mean, it kind of sums up everything because without without Jesus, we would have no hope. I mean, there's, there's nothing for us here without him. So it kind of just... That in itself, for me, was a big, intrigued me a lot, and that's that's where we started off, and then kind of asked Charlie if he wanted to do it. So it, it's a new song to us, but I, I like it a lot. Well, I mean, the main thing that attracted to me is the piano, and um, uh, I grew up learning um, the piano in a more classical way, and um, this song touches on more of the gospel aspects of the piano, which is like something I never really was familiar with, and um, you know, being with Jacob, Jacob has a very soulful voice and style, and um, it was kind of like cool for me to like slip into a different style at the same time. Um, and it kind of got me out of my comfort zone, which is, um, what is what we're called to do in our faith as well. Um, we're called to get out of our comfort zone and um, you know, share the gospel with others. And um, I think like that's basically what attracted me most to um, this song as well as you know, all our hope is in Jesus. Um, all our hope is in Him and you know, Without him, we are nothing. So um, I would say that's what really connected with me in that song. stranger to the prison I've worn shackles in chains but I've been freed and forgiven yeah. I'm not going back I'll never be the same that's why I see Yes, 
then he picked me up. Show me what it means to be a man. That's why I see. Oh, my hope is in Jesus. Thank God that yesterday is gone. You know my sins are forgiven. Yeah. And I've been washed by. My faith is relentless. Yeah. Come on. 9,998, 9,999, 10,000. I can find 10,000 reasons to follow after Jesus Christ. Jacob and them are singing right now, 10,000 reasons. Uh, another song that we uh, played today was 10,000 Reasons. and. Um, it's been one of my favorite songs for a long time. It's an older song, but uh, sometimes overplayed, but I don't think it can ever be overplayed just how good it is. But um, uh, 10,000 Reasons. So when you're thinking about it, all the things that God, Christ does for us, is we, we put it 10,000 Reasons, but it's way more than that. So as, as a whole, I, it's just, for me, it's more of all the things that He can do for me and in my life. Uh, bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh, I mean, it's just... The whole, the whole thing as a whole in the song, it's, it's a praise. I mean, of course, it's a praise song, but it, it's really a prayer. And all the things that he does do for us in our lives that most of the times we don't even acknowledge or know it's actually happening, but it's coming from him. So that, that was a big draw to that song for me. The first time I ever heard the song uh, would have to be in church. And um, it was actually before I was on the worship team. And... Uh, I don't know, it, it, it's hard to explain, but it, it's just something that was different than the rest of them, and it, it stuck out to me. Um, it, was, it was one of those songs that when you actually listen to it, you know how you try to kind of get into the presence of God, it immediately hits you. It's just going through the chorus of it, it it's effortless. I mean, if, if you're really in the right spot, it's just it's instantaneous, I feel like, a connection. I mean, you, you have all kinds of different interactions with the Holy Spirit and things like that. But for me, the biggest one was actually uh, probably four or five months ago. It's the first. We were up on the platform. We were singing. Um, I think it actually might have been this song. And I get nervous. I get all worked up and stuff. And then there was just this sense of calmness that fell over me. And as we were going through it, I've never been that comfortable before. I mean, it was just, it was basically relax, take a deep breath. Everything's going to be all right. I felt like God was actually there with me. So it wasn't, it wasn't just a praise and worship song. I was actually, I felt like I was praising with the Father. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship His holy Love. 
Welcome back to Relentless Faith. Uh, purpose. Everybody got a purpose. God put everybody here for a reason. Uh, your life has purpose. No matter what you're doing, it's, it's a part of a bigger plan that God has for you, uh, especially those around you and anybody that you may come in contact with. Music became uh, purpose in Charlie's life. Uh, listen to him talk about it. Well, I would definitely say with, um, you know, just the gift of music in particular, um, for me personally, um, growing up, I actually was a little bit embarrassed of, you know, my musical gifts, which, I mean, I ended up realizing was one of the greatest sins I could commit. And um, God just put different situations and different things in my life to turn me back towards it. And it made me realize what my purpose created by him was to do on this earth. I mean, my purpose on this earth is to make music, um, you know, for his glory. And um, he just placed different things and different, I think, events and reasons in my life um, to just point me towards that and point me away of what I was trying to do, which was conform to what, you know, other people wanted me to do which I mean, that's not what we're called to do because that's living by the word. We're called to um, do what God calls us to do and you know, use the gifts that he gave each and every one of us because he created us all differently even though we're made in his image and likeness, but we all have specific gifts that we're supposed to use for his glory. And I would say that would be, for me, my, um, my most pivotal thing for that. I learned the hard way, unfortunately, when you're not walking with Jesus, I mean, you're eventually going to always hit a dead end. I mean, it doesn't matter how hard you try, you know, everything you try and do without Jesus just runs into a dead end. And um, when you're walking with Jesus, literally the sky's the limit because, I mean, that's what we're called to be. You know, we're only on this earth for a limited amount of time. But when you're walking with Jesus, you have eternity. So I would say for someone that doesn't know Jesus, you know, Definitely get plugged into a church, you know, surround yourself with people that are going to point you towards, you know, Jesus and, you know, the sky's the limit. That's the ultimate goal. Um, nothing else matters in the grand scheme of things. So that's what I would definitely say would be the most important thing. My 
faith is relentless. If you with me, then pick them up and put them Welcome back to Relentless Faith. Uh, I need Jesus. You need Jesus. Um, we all need Jesus. There isn't a soul on this earth that doesn't need Jesus. Uh, I remember in my own life when I thought that I had it all under control and uh, that I didn't need anybody, really. I thought that all I needed was myself. All I need is me. All I need is me. And that's how I le led my life and that's how I lived it for so long. But then God took me down this, or allowed me to go down this crazy road that led to uh, a dead end road. And you've heard me tell the story several times on how God allowed me to be flat down on my back on a dead end road. And, and when I finally came to myself, I was staring at a dead end sign, uh, unaware of the need in my life for Jesus. Every night, uh, whether I'm at home or whether I'm out on the road, my son and I, we talk to each other on the phone around about 8.30 or 9 o'clock, uh, and we do prayers. If we're, not, if we're not together in this room while I'm on the side of his bed praying with him, uh, then we're on the phone and I'm praying with him. And I try to do this every evening. And, and the thing is, though, is that I have to be an example for him so that he can understand who Jesus is. And I know that me living my life in front of him gives him an opportunity to see that Jesus is real. And I always tell him, just like I'm telling you right now, there isn't a thing in your life uh, that is bigger or greater than, than the way Jesus can come in and change it. There isn't anything too great that he can't handle. I need him, like I said, and you need him. So. Check out this song by Jacob Crutchfield and listen to him talk about how he needs Jesus. And the song is Great Are You, Lord. We're all people, so we're all going to screw up. So, so you go to a church and have a bad experience. They are people too. Um, yes, they might be saved and you might want to hold them. Or they are held to a higher standard, but you can't, you can't really get caught up on that. And you will keep going for your entire life searching for things. I mean, people fall into alcoholism, drugs, I mean, anything. But you are truly not going to be happy or fulfilled until you do have Jesus Christ in your life. It's, it's just, there'll, there'll always be something missing. So my, my biggest thing I would say is don't let us being in the flesh, because we are people, we do make mistakes, don't let that deter you from actually getting close with the Father. And yes, you're gonna have obstacles and people that make you upset and think it's wrong, but they're people too. So we need to, we need to forgive, forget, and try to do the best we can. You give life, you are love, you bring light into the darkness, you give hope, you restore every heart. It's your breath in our lungs. 
9,999, 9,000, no, let me back up. All right. Jesus. Hey, glory. That was loud. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> my bad, I forgot. I had this mic. Welcome back to Relentless Face. Relentless Face. Oh, my goodness. The Relentless Face. That's the Relentless Face right there. All right. Welcome back to Relentless Faith. <laughs> And I, all right, no giggling, no giggling. 